Oh no, Towers and Creative Assembly have been seized by the talons of evil corporate mobile gaming businessmen in China. Oh dear, what's gonna happen now? Just a bit of a end of Bannerlord Gaming meme for you there, but on the other hand, is this really so bad? Okay, so let me fill you in from the news of the last couple of days. First off, we had an announcement from Creative Assembly saying that they were happy to start a partnership with NetEase. Creative Assembly Limited, part of Sega Europe Limited, today announced a long-term partnership with NetEase Inc., one of China's leading internet and online gaming service providers, which will see Total War published in China. NetEase Inc. has secured the rights to publish the franchise award-winning historical catalogue up to and including the widely successful Total War Three Kingdoms. Now, reading through this, it does mention that it is the Total War's historical catalog. So I'm assuming this does not mean the Total War Warhammer games. I mean, that's a whole new license that they'll have to get as well, since, of course, Games Workshop might not be on board with all this sort of thing. So maybe that's why that's being left out as well. But in addition to this, an announcement came up with an upcoming Total War Elysium. Yes, of course, there is a new Total War game that was announced alongside this, but this is where the worries come in. But we'll talk a bit more about that later. Let's switch over to the other side and see what Tailwords have to say for themselves. Just a few hours later, they announced on Twitter that they are pleased to announce a new partnership with NetEase Games, the online game division of NetEase, one of China's leading internet and online game service providers. But what are they going to do for Tail Wars? What are they going to do for Bannerlord and Mountain Blade in general? Well, apparently NetEase is going to be helping them out so we can better serve our Chinese community with our existing and upcoming titles. This partnership will not affect our plans for other territories. So this is why so many people have panicked and gone on about this, or oh, it's the end of Tail Worlds and Creative Assembly, but it's not going to, at least Tail Wars have said, affect, of course, the rest of the territory. So basically gaming in the US and UK and basically everywhere else, this shouldn't affect it. And whilst on one side I'm quite happy that it means that people in China get easier access to Mountain Blade in these great games, with Tail Worlds I feel a little bit more safe about. They haven't announced any new games or a new direction that they're going to be doing, they've actually said the opposite. They've said that to us gamers in the western world this isn't actually going to affect us really. So I'm actually sort of okay with this happening to Tail Worlds, but it's Creative Assembly where I feel like some issues are starting to chip away away from this wall of Total War's past success. But what do netties do? Well, of course, there's so many people that are saying a lot of things, but basically they just take games and put them into the Chinese market. But that's what they do on the outside, at least. That's what their main target is. And I do believe from what Tail Worlds have said that that is what they're going to be doing with the Mountain Blade franchise. But what about Creative Assembly? Why is this different? Well, someone who I'm assuming is from China posted on Twitter, we the Chinese, see I got that hint there, that probably means, they know how to use Steam, which I do find is a little bit weird, if you do already have Steam and all this stuff, why would you need netties in there, but maybe it's just an easier way since China is such a massive place, it's an easier way of getting it to the masses, but let's carry on. But if netties is actually doing it, it will add some pay to win official mobile games. Okay, so they have said that in this comment that there'll be mobile Bannerlord games that will block the real Bannerlord on Steam and maybe even Warband. I highly doubt that. I think that's a load of superstitious nonsense. But I think it's important to look at the fact of pay to win mobile games because Netties have a history of this. I mean, let's look at a game that I think a lot of you will know, Stick Fight. It's a nice, fun party co-op game to play, and it's great, and it has been on Steam for a while. Netties took over this game to spread into China and things like that, but they also made a mobile port of it. Whilst I haven't played the mobile port myself, it looks like, actually, they're trying to do this with Creative Assembly as well. CA already announced Total War Elysium, and as you might have guessed, yes, this is a mobile game. Granted, it's on the PC as well, but they are porting it up to mobile. This is not just a normal Total War game, but this is a collectible card game. And we all know collectible card games and what they're famous for, microtransactions. 
And this is where I think the issue comes in with this statement from Total War and CA themselves. I mean, let's think about this. If already they're announcing alongside their partnership with these guys that they're bringing out a new card game for mobile and PC that is a collectible card game. Now, notice how they put collectible card game because of course you can get card games that you just play. They give you all the stuff and it's a normal game, but collectible card game means there's things that you need to find certain and rarer cards that I bet you 99% this game is going to have microtransactions that you can pay for cards and pay for better things. And is this the way that Total War should be going? Of course not. I mean, I don't know a single person in the fan base that I think is going to be alright with this. Card games are great. People love card games. I personally love card games. But when it comes to adding microtransactions to a franchise that has been built for decades from being such great strategy games, from the earlier 2D games like Shogun and then moving up from Rome Total War into Medievals, into the Napoleonic Wars, into the Three Kingdoms, and now coming into a mobile card game that most likely has microtransactions in. I mean, of course, there's no confirmation from Creative Assembly that there's going to be microtransactions in, so I might be 100% wrong. I don't think there's a single person watching this video that thinks I'm wrong in this, that there probably will be microtransactions in a mobile Total War game. Have Creative Assembly ventured into mobile before? Yes, they have, and um, it was probably as you'd expect, a complete and utter disaster. So they're going back into it in a card game, which would work on mobile, yes, granted. But the fact that they're bringing in what they must know is the bane to any actual gamer's gameplay. Microtransactions, forcing you to pay for stuff just so you can actually get better in the game. This tweet mentioned pay to win games. Is this going to be the way that Total War wants to go? By all means, work with a company that can distribute your game in China. And as far as we know, that's what Tail Wars are doing. But if it comes out that Tail Wars go the same direction, going mobile games, which at the end of the day isn't an issue, but adding in microtransactions, pay to win things, that it looks like CA is going, well, that is where the issues start to crop up. But I'd really love to see your responses down below. But if you enjoy this video, make sure you click a like on it, and I'll definitely bring you guys some more news when it comes out. But until then, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.